welcome to our React tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many newcomers to React often ask. Our viewer wants to know how to conditionally display div elements based on props. Specifically, they're curious about how to show content only when a certain condition is true. Let's dive into this common challenge. The viewer's question is straightforward. They want to know how to display div elements only when a specific prop returns true. They mention that while they know a function can only return one render, they're looking for a way to implement an inline if statement in JSX. This is a great opportunity to explore conditional rendering in React. All right, guys, we're back with another technical question. I'll be going through the question, the answer, and I'm hoping, just like me, to stay a little bit crazy to get that answer all the way through. Guys, let's get started. In React, you can conditionally render elements based on props. Let's start by understanding how to show a div only when a certain condition is true. You mentioned wanting to use an inline if statement. In React, we can achieve this using the logical AND operator. If the condition is true, the div will render. Here's an example. If we have a prop called test, we can write it like this. This.prop.test and in div if true, show this div. If you want to ensure that the div only shows when test is true, you can also explicitly check for true using this.props test equal true and in div if true, show this div div. Finally, remember that you can use this approach for multiple divs. Just repeat the logic for each div you want to conditionally render. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. There are two ways to conditionally render a div in React. The first method is more verbose, but allows for clearer logic separation. You can create a function that checks if a variable, like person name, exists before rendering the div. The second method is more concise, but can be risky if the variable can be falsy, like zero or an empty string. You should ensure your tests account for these cases to avoid unintended behavior. For more details on conditional rendering in React, check the official documentation linked in the description. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In this example, we use React to conditionally display a div based on the user's role. Initially, the role is set to an empty string. When the button is clicked, the role changes to admin. If the role is admin, a specific section is displayed. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.